Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, October 21st, 1722, a group of Natchez Indians ambushed Sir D. Gonneau, the French inspector of the St. Catherine Concession. As he was returning from Fort Rosalie, Gonneau was believed to have been the cause of some discontent among the Natchez at the White Apple Village, generally regarded as pro-English settlement. This incident was one of two that fall that reflected increasing hostilities between the French and the Natchez. After the Indians fired on him, Gonneau was able to reach the concession and sound the alarm. For the next seven days, as many as 80 Natchez Indians from the White Apple Village fired on the St. Catherine concession from concealed positions among the trees. At night, they raided area farms, shooting livestock, and burning houses. Captain de Bongo, Commander of Fort Rosalie prevailed upon the tattooed serpent to try and restore peace. Acting as a peacemaker, the tattooed serpent relayed messages between the concession, Fort Rosalie, and White Apple Village. In early November, Calumet arrived at the concession from various villages and soon hostilities ceased. The tattooed serpent and a group of tribesmen carried the Calumet to Benville in New Orleans. Benville admonished the Natchez to behave themselves, but he also lavished gifts upon the tattooed serpent. The wounded inspector, Gano, was taken to New Orleans where he died of gangrene. The Second Natchez War had come to an end, but by the fall of 1723, hostilities would once again lead to war. I am Eric Rice, Mayor's aide for the city of Natchez. This has been a Natchez History Minute.